This book kind of almost reminds me of uh, One of Us is Lying. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am to start reading this book. There's actually just iced coffee in this, but I wanted to look bougie like I'm drinking a nice warm cup of coffee, but it's actually iced coffee in a mug. Oh, I probably just look so crazy. Hi guys, what's up? Today's video, as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be doing a what I want to read in April. I have a whole stack of books sitting right next to me. And I also have some things written on my laptop about these books that I really want to talk about. And um, yeah, I do want to put out there that I don't know much about these books and that's usually how I like to go about reading my books is I don't like to know a ton of information about them beforehand because I feel like that almost like ruins the point of picking up a good book and like reading it. So um, I don't know much about these books. I know the bare minimum from the descriptions on the back of them, pretty much all I know about them. And some minor little details here and there because book talk seems to like to spoil things. Yeah. I Hope you guys are excited for today's video sorry for my kind of disheveled appearance literally filming editing and uploading this the day you're seeing it so i did not feel like putting myself together putting makeup on and looking presentable so to say so this is what you're getting today i also just want to say a quick thank you guys for 1.6k subscribers absolutely nuts to me not even like two weeks ago i was stuck at 1.3 subscribers for like months and months and months so it's nuts to me now that i've joined the booktube and book talk community how much support i've received these past couple of weeks it's insane and i'm also really excited to meet a bunch of you tomorrow at the live stream which if you don't already know i am live streaming tomorrow at 12 p.m eastern standard time if you want some more time zones i've included them on the screen but yeah i'm really excited for this live stream it's gonna be the first live stream i've ever done on my channel and we're gonna be doing some reading sprints so i hope you guys join me along that live stream tomorrow but for now i'm gonna talk to you guys about the books i want to read and April. There are so many books I want to get to this April that I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to because I, I set up my little TBR a little too much, but we're going to see if I can get through them. Just like to see the stack of how many books I have. <laughs> oh gosh, they're all going to fall. Oh, that's so many books. The first book I want to read in April is actually part of a trilogy that BookTube and BookTok probably knows pretty well because mm, I don't know there's a show coming out this April on it. As many of you may have guessed, I'm going to officially start reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy. I've officially gotten my hands on all three of the books. I'm going to start reading these this month. I don't want to spend too much time talking about these books because I'm pretty sure we all know what they're about by now, but if you don't know already, I just I don't even know what to say about these books. Like I am so excited to start reading them. I've heard that they're so so good, but I've also heard that they're not as good and that the six of pros is better which brings me into my next couple of books i'm gonna read for this month and that is the six of crows duology and crooked kingdom all five of these i want to read this month to be quite honest i think i'm a little more excited to read the six of crows duology than i am shadow and bone trilogy just because i've heard such amazing things about the six of crows and you can technically read them on their own because they don't really go super super hand in hand but it does say that this book kind of plays into the same world as this one does and this one gives spoilers about this one so it's better to start off with these then go to this book so and since the show comes out april 23rd i'm trying to read all five of these books before april 23rd which sounds really hectic and like a lot because these books are hefty in length they feel like close to 400 pages each so it's gonna be a lot of reading and i don't know how i feel about them anyways i'm going to read the back of the first book in the trilogy to give you guys an idea if you've never heard of shadow and bone kind of what the book is about orphan and expendable Alana, I don't start start from i don't even know how you say that last name but alana is a soldier who knows she may not survive her first track across the shadow fold of unnatural darkness crawling with monsters which when you look at the trailer to this it looks nuts and it like goes hand in hand so i'm like really excited when her regiment is attacked alana unleashes dormant magic not even she knew she possessed so basically our main character we follow along alana has this power but she is a map maker so basically she makes these maps for the world and whatnot but she has this power that she doesn't know that she has now alana will enter a lavish world of royalty as she's trained 
as she trains with Grisha, her country's magical military elite. And falls under the spell of other notorious leader, the Darkling. He believes Anna can summon a force capable of destroying the Shadowfold and reuniting their war-ravaged country, but only if she can master her untamed gift. As a threat to the kingdom mounts and Alana unlocks her the secrets of her past, she will make a dangerous discovery that could threaten all she loves and the future of a nation. In my opinion, that sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> Basically, the next two books kind of follow along in the same story, Alana, and there apparently are some love interests in this book. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, I've heard some mixed things about the love interests and some people wanting her to end up with this person. I don't know. I guess I will see how I feel about it. Sorry I don't have much more to say on these books. I know a little bit, but I don't know a lot just because I kind of want to be surprised with these books. I hope I like them because I bought all three of them without reading the first. So, all right, moving on to the next two books in the series and the world. The Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I think Leigh Bardugo just came out with two other books, I think, in this world, but I'm not not sure correct me if I'm wrong but she came out with two newer books these books as I said before I am more excited to read these than I am of the trilogy just because I've heard that the characters are really interesting in these books and the one character that everybody is like crazy over Kaz um, I've been told that he's pretty cute and when you look at the fan art he's I, he's pretty cute looking. Come on. I'll read the back of this in case you guys want to know. Ketterdam, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows that better than the criminal prodigy Kaz Breaker. Breaker? I think that's how you say his name. Breaker? Kaz is offered a chance at a deadly heist that could make him rich beyond his wildest dreams, but he can't pull it off alone. A convict with a thirst of revenge, a sharpshooter who can't walk away from a wager, a runaway with a privileged past, a spy known as the Wrath, a heart heart tender heart render using her magic to survive the slums and a thief with a gift for unlikely escape kaz's crew are the only ones who might stand between the world and the destruction if they don't kill each other first so basically i think it follows along in the story of six people um but it looks really really good i'm really excited to read these i feel like the crooked kingdom is going to take me a really really long time to read because it's a lot bigger i have a feeling i can get through all of these by the time the tv show comes out and it sounds kind of stupid but like i wasn't gonna read these books so soon but as soon as i found out that there was a tv show coming out on netflix with them i was like all right i have to read it because i'm gonna want to watch the show but the thing is, is i'm not gonna want to watch the show until i've read the books anyways moving on sorry if this video is super chaotic i'm trying to get through this in the best way possible so the next book i want to read this april is actually another series but i'm just gonna read the first book this month it is the shatter me series i cannot begin to tell you how excited oh there's still a sticker on here i cannot tell you guys how excited i am to start reading this book i've heard nothing but good things from literally everyone i've come into contact with about this book they said it was so so good the love interests were super interesting and just the story itself is super super nice i've also heard that this is a dystopian kind of book not only is it dystopian but it has love interests in it and it's like kind of like a romance book but like not really if that makes sense i don't know it looks really really freaking good let me tell you guys what it's about if you haven't heard about it so basically shatter me follows along in juliet point of view which is our main character and she basically has this really deadly touch that whenever she touches someone they basically die and we kind of start off with her in this asylum she is locked up in an asylum because a year or two prior she basically killed a young boy and locked her up in an insane asylum away from society so she hasn't touched anyone in like 200 some days basically the reestablishment, which is like the government in this dystopian world wants to use her as a deadly weapon for their like advantage and stuff and along the way and along the journey she basically has a couple of interests we first meet adam which is her cellmate in the asylum that she ends up like showing around the asylum to she has a love interest with him but then she also has a love interest with with Aaron 
Warner, which if you guys watched my book shopping haul and vlog, you know that I'm already mm, liking this boy. There are 10 books in this series, four of which are novellas, which are short novels that are kind of like little snippets of the main plot point that kind of coincide with it. But there are six main books and this is the first one. I don't know all of them, but I do know that there are six main books and then four novellas on top of it so and you don't necessarily have to read the novellas but the novellas kind of give you more of an understanding of what kind of world this is and what the characters are like the novellas basically just give more depth to the characters and the storyline as is so i'm gonna end up reading the novellas the last book i want to read this month i'm only gonna read seven this month i know you're probably like only seven that's a lot the thing is is i don't know if i'm actually gonna get to all seven of these or if i'm going to add in more books here and there there. but for now these are the main seven books I want to read this month the last one being a good girl's guide to murder this was in my book shopping vlog and haul video let me just read you guys the description of this and tell me this does not sound good pretty and popular senior Addie Bell was murdered by her boyfriend Saul I don't know how to pronounce this last name if you know how to pronounce the boyfriend's last name in this book let me know I don't want to butcher it who then killed himself it was all anyone could talk about and after five years later Pip now sees this tragedy still haunts her town. Now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project, at first just to cast doubt on the original investigation. But soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that probably might prove Sal innocent and the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers, and now her own life may be in danger. So basically, we follow along in the POV of Pip, who is our main character in this story, and she's basically investigating this murder that happened within Fairview and her high school, and along the way, there are people who don't want her finding out the truth about Addie Bell's murder. This book kind of almost reminds me of uh, One of Us is Lying. I don't know if you guys have read that book. I read it um, back in January, and it was really, really good. This book kind of reminds me of that one, and I feel like I'm really gonna like this one. There's also a sequel called Good Girl, Bad Blood, and there's gonna be a third book that comes out in September of this year as well. So that is basically all of the books I wanna read this month. As I said, they are kinda gonna change here and there because I'm getting a few more books in the next couple of days. So some of those books are probably gonna be added to my April TBR, but as for right now, these are the only seven books I'm reading. Seven is a lot. We're gonna see if I can get through all of them. I'm hoping I can. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious to know what books you guys want to read this April. Like, what does your April TBR look like? So let me know in the comments down below the books that you wanna read this April. I also hope that you guys come to tomorrow's live stream i'm gonna be reading the first book in the shadow and bones series also i just wanted to let you guys know that next week on tuesday i'm going to be posting a video of all the books that i've read from january to march i think there's like six or seven books in that video so if you guys are curious about the books i've been reading be sure to tune in on tuesday for that video i really hope you guys enjoy this video and um i will see you guys on tomorrow I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors Pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I got it like that Always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on